It's time for Weird Rules. Is this my camera? You're going to fake it towards him. It's your camera, but you're going to fake it towards me. We bounce it off of him? Right. Okay. You're a Des Bryant fan, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know a, a thing or two about the catch rule. Yeah. Like the NFL, Major League Baseball also has its fair share of catch rules. It makes sense. You have a position called catcher. Yeah, it being a big part of the game. There's quite a bit of clarity to it, but there was a game where the refs just totally whiffed on this catch rule. A catch is the act of a fielder getting in secure possession in his hand or glove of a ball in flight and firmly holding it providing he does not use his cap, protector, pocket, or any other part of his uniform in getting possession. Seems relatively simple, right? Sure. There was a game where the Phillies are playing the Dodgers, mm -hmm. and Austin Barnes hits a line drive right to the pitcher, Nick Pavetta, who didn't try, but somehow like caught the ball in his uniform. Like it went between okay. the two buttons of his uniform. Sure, yeah. And he just kind of looks down and he's like, oh, well, I, I guess I got it. And it's the last out of the inning. So everyone, including the umpires, trot off the field. But it turns out that that was technically not a catch and they should have continued the play because the second part of this rule is providing he does not use his cap, protector, pocket, or any other part of his uniform in getting possession. That, because that's just like, physics happened, and he David blamed it, and then it was inside It was him. just in his belly. If there had been intent, like if he had done it intentionally, there's actually another rule for that, okay. which is rule 7.05 that says all runners, including the batter, advance three bases if a fielder intentionally touches a fair batted ball with their cap, mask, or any other part of their uniform. So, if he had like opened up his uniform like a big net and like caught it, everyone advances three bases. Baseball, were they just like scared that somebody was gonna want a Harlem Globetrotter baseball? And they're like, that's too much fun. I like to think that the guys that made the original rule book were just all not creative people. How so? They were just like, what, what are some of those things they might do that would just spoil the game. I don't know, maybe if they use something other than their glove. Oh, oh, terrible. No, no. What if a man removed his shoe? Somebody in the back of the room's like, oh, that's good, that's going yeah, in. Yeah, that's going that's in. Going that's in. going in. That's no going in. No shoes at balls. You're out there with like some equipment that is easily removable. Right. The temptation to like throw your hat and your glove at things in motion is, temp is very tempting. It's a three base penalty if it's a hit ball. Okay. If it's a thrown ball, so like first baseman to second baseman, and you throw your glove and knock it down, then it's only two bases, which really does not make a whole lot of sense because that is your yeah. own teammate that's making that play. It's like if the shortstop forgets he's playing baseball and gets spooked. He's like, oh, what? The ha! I'm sorry, guys. I thought it was a hawk again. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the runner's running from first to second. You're in the outfield. You see that the ball is passing in between you and where the runner is at that moment. So you throw to hit the ball to make the ball hit the runner on his way in between right. bases. Right. That could work. I mean, yeah, if this is that f***ing Angelina Jolie pistol bullet curving movie. I'll use my glove. Change the trajectory of the baseballs. When did this, do you know when this came into the rule book? I don't. Huh. Well, Des caught it, so there's that. If there's one thing we take away from this video, it's that Des caught that ball. And I agree. Hey, sorry, I'm Will. Yeah, hi, hey, Ryan. Good nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching Weird Rules. I'm still not convinced that that's a real rule. It just seems too dumb for baseball to even think of it. But hey, no way for me to ever know. Comment down below and subscribe to SB Nation for more.